Hi everyone, today the pro this program is going to allow our breakdancer here to show off some of his dance moves. So let's take a look at our code on the left over here. We're taking advantage of the use of four repeat blocks, each of them repeating a variable amount of times, and let's see what each repeat block does. So first, when I run the program, he's going to say let's dance for two seconds. And then when he enters the first repeat block, he's going to change x by positive 20 four times and then wait five seconds after each move. Then he's going to repeat turning 36 degrees right 10 times and waiting 0.5 seconds after every turn. Then he's going to say nailed it for two seconds after he's done rotating. And then the next repeat block is going to make him change back to his original position by changing x by negative 20 four times. And then he's going to change size by negative 10, basically shrinking him, repeating this five times. So it gives the illusion that he's moving backwards. And then he's going to switch back to his original position, wait one second, and say bye for two seconds. If I were to change this repeat, let's say this one over here, and make it, let's say, 20, Let's see what happens then. He says let's dance just like he normally does. And then he's going to keep changing his x position by 20 until the repeat block stops. But notice that if we repeat this 20 times, our character moves off the screen and we can no longer see him. This is why we have to make sure that we're very aware of our x and y coordinates so that our sprites stay on the screen and maintain an illusion of movement. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for listening.